Hey there, good afternoon and welcome back to your News at 5. I'm meteorologist Julia Quady. It's a sizzling, blazing hot day here in the coastal bend, seeing our temperatures once again being at least into the low 90s, while I feel like temperatures are skyrocketing into the triple digits, just making it a bit oppressive for some, of course, having to step outside, battling that intense heat. But that is set to continue and be the trend as we head into the weekend and for the most part of next week. I have all the details on that and my full forecast in just a few more moments. Right now, taking a look at our CCAC sky cam over in Snoopy's Pier, we can see all that sunshine basking on through in our area. Very little to no cloud cover, a couple partly cloudy skies, but for the most part, we're looking at mostly sunny conditions this afternoon, which of course means there's not much room for any shade or any relief for all that sunshine, which just adds to how intensely hot it feels as you step outdoors. This is where I feel like temperatures and air temperatures are looking like right now at this hour. Here in Corpus Christi sitting at 92 degrees, 93 on over in Robstown, 96 in Kingsville, and 92 degrees on over in Alice. But taking a look at those feel like temperatures, those are those yellow numbers. Uh, those are the ones that I mentioned just a moment ago, well into the triple digits in most locations all across the coastal bend. So of course that means as you step outdoors, at the very least you're stepping into temperatures that feel like 100 degrees or more to your body when you step outdoors. Again, that's why we're not in that range where we have any healers in effect, thankfully, but still just enough that you still want to make sure you're staying hydrated and limiting your time outdoors if you are sensitive to the suppressive heat out there. And we'll continue to hang on to the triple digits at least for the next few hours, only breaking down into the 90s by the time we get to 9 o'clock tonight, and then, of course, overnight dropping into the 80s. But looking ahead to tomorrow for your Saturday over the weekend, we'll once again be talking about our triple digits feel like temperatures once again around that cusp, just riding really close to that uh, line where we could see some heat advisors going to effect. I don't think that's going to be the case for us here in uh, Corpus Christi or Nueces County as a whole, but it is possible because we'll be riding very close to that line of holding at least 110 degrees for at least two hours or more. That's the criteria to have those heat alerts go into effect. So it just remains a possibility. Just depends how hot it gets for us tomorrow and over the weekend. But another piece of information that makes this weather particularly dangerous, of course, isn't just those feel like temperatures, but it's also the radiation that comes from that sunshine that's coming in and basking all across our area. So that's in relation to our UV index. So for today, we're in that extreme zone sitting at 12. So for us, that means that burn time is very limited. So if you're stepping outdoors for over 10 minutes, it is a possibility for some folks, again, could see in a possibility where you could start to burn and feel those effects from that intense sunshine. So you want to make sure you're having a couple some of these steps just to make sure you're staying safe. That may mean wearing a hat when you're outdoors, sunglasses, making sure you're lathering up with that sunscreen, Find some time to be in that shade if you have to be outdoors for a prolonged uh, period of time. And again, along with your other heat safety tips of staying hydrated, you want to limit your time outdoors while you can. Of course, with this extreme heat coming in with those uh, UV rays being where they are, you just better be safe than sorry and make sure you're staying indoors if you can for longer periods of time compared to that time you're spending outdoors. But another factor that may want you to encourage you to spend some more time indoors is, of course, that we're still battling a little bit of that remnant of Saharan dust. So we're going to remain to be in that moderate range throughout the rest of this week and as we approach this weekend. So Lake, you look at your seven day forecast, Every day is going to look pretty similar, just battling all that heat and sunshine coming through. Just going to have some sizzling heat and humidity throughout the rest of this week into the weekend.